we would like to present you our study, Topological Data Analysis Approach for Weighted Network Embedding. Uh, Topological data analysis is a complex of methods based on algebraic topology, computational geometry, statistics, and other similar fields. In this work, the term TDA refers to one particular method called persistent homology. The central assumption underlying TDA is that data objects can be described and analyzed in terms of their geometric shape into finite metric spaces. Discovering various topological features of data might clarify its generation process, organizational and structural properties. Besides, TDA application presupposes exploration of polyadic relations between objects, which makes it especially relevant in network analysis. Because of the possibility to investigate complex network interaction patterns and thus add more sensitivity to network stru structure and behavior. The primary goal of our work is to apply TDA tools in the node embedding task for weighted networks and estimate its efficiency. Thus, mainly we focused on creating a TDA framework for weighted networks node description and further comparing its performance with another widespread network embedding method called node to vec Also, we consider potential importance of particular topological characteristics which underline no participation and attempted to qualitatively estimate their role in the process. Persistent homology method is based on several concepts and ideas from algebraic topology, which needs to be introduced in order to provide a satisfying description of TDA network representation, which differs from standard graph approach. Two most basic notions of the whole TDA process are the notions of simplex and simplicial complex. We mentioned earlier that TDA provides opportunity to observe interaction between multiple nodes while not being limited by pairwise interactions. As long as the H could be defined as the elementary form of relationship in a network graph, which always captures only two nodes, and simplex is the scalable generalization of H which can reflect relations between any number of nodes. And simplex is a fully connected finite set of n plus one vertices. Therefore, a single vertex is a zero simplex, a standard edge stands for one simplex, triangle for two simplex, etc. If we glue several simplexes together in accordance with certain conditions, one can get a simplicial complex, symmetrically generalization of a graph. How exactly can one describe a network presented as a simplicial complex? There comes another topological feature, which is commonly extracted from such complex, simplicial homology. This feature is a sequence of measurements which allows to collect diverse topological invariants of the network structure. More precisely, end homology of a complex is a collection of n-dimensional cycles that, in turn, represent a group of specifically arranged n-dimensional simplexes, forming an n-dimensional hole on the topological surface. Zero-dimensional cycle is a connected component, one-dimensional is a circular hole, two-dimensional is called void or cavity. Information about number of cycles in each homology group is stored in a Betty numbers vector, where B, where and B number stands for number of n-dimensional cycles in a complex. If a regional network is binary, it is quite easy to build and to interpret it as a simplicial complex, extract and estimate its homology groups. However, most of the real-world data networks are not binary, but weighted. To process this type of network, several additional tools should be provided. The classic approach is thresholding, when we binarize network by leaving only significant connections. However, it always comes with a certain information loss. To avoid that, TDA proposes a procedure called filtration, which records every possible binarization of original network while increasing the threshold value, and thus forms a sequence of simplicial complexes built on every step. Studying topological properties of every particular simplicial complex would be too computationally expensive. So, the observed homologies gain a specific dynamic feature called persistence. As long as this 
threads hold value varied, new connected components, cycles, and voids form, merge, chain shape, experience various complex interactions, and disappear at a certain point. Standard homology concept extends to persistent homology, while cycles gain a feature of lifetime. For every cycle, it is possible now to define birth and death threshold values, where it forms and decomposes respectively. Persistent homology is a collection of cycles with calculated lifetime intervals. The most common and popular representation of filtration results is the visualization technique called persistent barcodes, where every solid line stands for a particular cycle with a lifetime of corresponding length. Horizontal X depicts increasing threshold values. However, persistent barcodes are hard to interpret with standard statistical metrics. And besides, they do not provide any information about particular node involvement in the filtration process. For successful application of TDA to node embedding problem, a tool from a RIN package for TDA is used. Cycles representative description allows to create a correct input data for further embedding process, where every lifetime interval displayed on barcode collection is paired with a list of annotated nodes participants. Every node then was embedded in a space with dimension equal to number of collected intervals, and one code encoded in terms of its participation in each cycle. We compared performances of TDA embedding with another popular approach called node to vec This model combines methods of random walk and skip gram technique from word embedding fields. Using a flexible sampling strategy, node to vec samples set of neighborhoods for every node and compares them in the way analogous to concept similarity of words in a sentence. The sampled neighborhood is, is the sentence here. Eventually, not to lag, it was widely applied in the various data analysis tasks, proved its efficiency in different fields, and has available simple implementations. As a generative template for experimental data, we used weighted stochastic block model. Such choice is based on the fact that many real-world data networks with attributed node profiles reveal certain block subfigures and structures. In a spatial representation of such network, nodes with similar attributes will be placed closely to each other, as long as real-world network data often contains or implies node attribute information. We decided to use block model network structures as the synthetic data sets for our TDA-based embedding method. The basic principle of WSBM construction consists of the following. Ages between the nodes from the same block are sampled with higher values than for ages between nodes from separate blocks. In our study, we used three variations of WSBM model. Standard WSBM model with three blocks where the strength of node connections was varied. Model with the block embedded into one if the original sets of blocks. Model with block that may intersect and mix with each other. Every model network consisted of 20 nodes. The quality of embedding was compared based on node classification task performance. We didn't use any standard classification metrics, but applied dimensionality reduction technique UMAP for visualization of results. The first one was the simple three block model with strong connections inside the blocks and weak connections outside. All connections were sampled from normal distribution, with mean parameter equal to 3 and minus 3, respectively. All values then were mapped into positive interval with values ranged from 0 to 1 by logistic transformation, so that weak connections were close to 0 and strong to 1. As it can be seen on the figures, for both embeddings, a three cluster block structure can be revealed successfully. However, for TDA embedding, there is one wrongly attributed node. The reasons of this mistake can be understood from the cycles representative analysis. The first block consists of eight nodes and is introduced with three short-lived cycles that appeared at the lower levels of filtration. All the cycles contain only the nodes that belong to the same block, except for node five, which merged with node four too early at the level where cycles started. So in the visual representation of connected components, they are located near each other. The same picture holds for the other two blocks. They are smaller and described with two short-lived cycles. 
additional information can be extracted from long-lived cycles, which could be interpreted as the conductors of information flow between dogs. The existence of long-lived cycles tells us that there are weak distant connections between separated dogs. In this case, there are two such cycles. The longest one corresponds to connections between the first and the second blocks and the first and the third blocks. Visually, these connections are displayed as the bright points outside the blocks. On this slide, the results for a model with medium connections are shown. Medium and weak connections were sampled with the mean parameter equal to 1 and minus 1, respectively, and logistic transformation afterwards. In this case, Cluster structure is not so clear in the note of that case. For TDA embedding, distribution of cycle lengths and starts of the cycles differ from the cases with strongly connected blocks. Now there are only two earlier period cycles. The members of these cycles correspond to the first and third block. From the network image, it is clear that they have a stronger connection between each other than with the second block. Besides, distribution of the interval starts tells that there are a lot of weakly connected small blocks and one cycle describing long-lasting distance connection between all three blocks. Outside block connection is decreased now in comparison with the previous example. Weak connections are modeled now with the mean equal to minus half of one, 0 0.5. In this case, node to web representation became non-informative. Well, TDA embedding demonstrates big similarity to the medium case. Points are scattered on the UMAP plot, but still the nodes from the same block are located near each other. Embedded model consisted of three blocks with one block additionally embedded into the first one. Both UMAP visualization for node to back embedding and the distribution of starting points are similar to the basic three blocks case. Three short cycles consist of intervals between three different clusters. All three blocks can be extracted together with the information about the connected components. However, in this case, all connections are weak. There are no cycles with long distance connection. To simulate mixed model, two weighted models with different block sizes were summed together and further normalized. Note to back embedding depicts visual impression and reveals four small blocks. In case of connected components, TDA visualization still pictures standard three block structure, but from the cycle embedding, we can notice a mixed structure of the block. All things considered, efficient representation of such data type as weighted network with attributed node profiles requires taking into account both network structural properties and individual node characteristics. For individual node description, we propose so-called cycle representatives TDA2. TDA embedding should not be considered as competitive to other network embedding methods, but it certainly provides additional important information about long distance and short distance connections and their role in node participation. Using weighted stochastic block model examples, we showed that early period short cycles could be used for revealing clusters in the networks and even points to the connection strengthened clusters. While long lasting cycles appeared in the middle and in the end of filtration could provide important information about types of nodes participated in them. On this slide, the link for GitHub repository with all calculations and results is provided. Thank you for your attention.